welcome back guys this is Srikant today we are going to talk about the ANSI join versus non ANSI join so you know in 1987 there is an institute called as the American National Standard Institute which is a non-profit organization it designed some set of standards for the SQL and in that uh, in, in that uh, standards um, there are standards set for the joins okay and the if we follow those standards that that kind of join is called as ANSI join and if that doesn't follow standards while writing a join we call it as a non ANSI join non ANSI join you will find in oracle uh, oracle also support the ANSI join so in this demonstration i am going to show you how we can write ANSI join and the non ANSI join right this will be very helpful when we work on a, a legacy oracle system there we have this kind of join and we get confused right because we won't find more documentation for this also so in this one we are going to talk the with example so here what we are going to do we are going to use online fiddler here here we are creating uh, two table the table one and the table two Remember, we have used uh, Oracle 11. G. I don't have Oracle installed on my machine, so I'm using online tool for showing a demonstration. So, what actually I'm going to do? I'm going to create a first table. This is called as a table one. The schema is ID and the value. Uh, creating another table called as uh, table two, having the ID and the value. Okay. Then I'm going to insert the data in the first table with the two rows, one and two. I'm going to insert the daily single row in a table two with the two. One is missing here. And then building a schema okay now i am going to show you how to write a query in ansi join or ansi style so this is the inner join i am going to run so if i want to write an inner join you know in ansi way for the table one see i'm writing like this a inner join very simple and see inner join the on table 2 right uh, B I'll simply write on a dot ID is equal to B dot ID what will happen it will only give you the give me the matching data from both the table so now my requirement I want to convert this it into the non ANSI okay so how I can write this simply copy this query and try to understand you need to replace inner join with comma this is very simple and you need to replace on with where you are done so non ANSI way for writing inner join this is the simple example if you need to run the query just just uh, close the statement and run it you will see the same output for the both the queries see all the we have seen the matching data okay now we are moving one step ahead we are going to write a left order join if i want to write a left order join for these two tables so how would i do that i will use the keyword called as a left then outer join and i will simply run the query i will get output and i basically i will get all the data from the table one with matching and non-matching so just wait see I got two record it has two record with one one two and one but the second table doesn't have the entry for the one so it is showing me null right as I have used left here once you convert this left join to ANSI way non ANSI okay so what will I do I'll simply copy this code and try to write simple so if you want to make the left outer join you need to replace uh, in non and join you need to replace with a comma then you need to replace on with a where okay now try to understand a key rule here the requirement is table a is the first table table 2 is a second table so want to make the left join left join me all the data from the table on, I will always get so thumb rule is that always use a special symbol like this one the parenthesis plus operator opposite to the join condition so always check this plus is opposite to a table so basically this is the outer join for the table 
named it as a A. Okay. And if I am coming here, simple, if I am coming here, if I am running the code, I would see the output. It is running. I would see the output the way I have seen for the lip joint. Okay. Now, lot of people get confused. They think that if I use the plus operator here, it means that this is the outer joint. And if I simply replace the uh, position, see, previously condition, this condition was present on the right side. Now I move to the left side. Now the condition has been changed. They think that previously it was left, now it converted to right. No, it's not like that. Always you need to uh, think about the opposite table. So this plus is present opposite to A table. Right, opposite to A. So it means that this is the outer join for the A table. So outer join is uh, in the first place, right? So I should get all data from the A. So it means that this is a left join. Right, so position doesn't matter. The matter is the matter is where we have place the plus operator okay now i want to convert this to the right join. what does that mean right join mean right join means all the data from the second table i should get so if i want if the second table is my in my query is b1 so if i want to make the outer join on b then i need to use it here beside the a okay now, now run this query, also run above query making the changes with the right. Now let's see. We would see the same output. See only single row. Why single row? Because this table is having a only one. So important thing which we need to understand here is that the position of the special symbol is matter. Always consider the opposite table. So if the plus symbol is present, uh, on right side so just check the table name for the left side so I am seeing here B B means table 2 so basically this is outer join for the B so it means that all the data from the B should be get how would I get uh, for that I need to use what I need to use the right table so that I will get all the data from the one this is quite simple and uh, one important thing is that there is a one more join called as a full outer join you can use the full outer join in ANSI style but you can't use the full outer in the directly basically in non -NC. people say think that only simply writing the plus it will work but it doesn't it will show you error right it will say predicate may reference only one outer join it means that in non -NC, you can only do a left outer join or the right outer join okay hope you understand this one Another important basically which is not relevant to this but I am trying to make it more complicated so creating another table called as a table 3 here and going to add one more entry here let's say 3 this is for third table just build a schema now This is a left join for this two. Now uh, what I'm going to do, I want to add one more left join. Left join on table three. Table three. I'm making a C and writing on A dot ID is equal to B dot ID. Okay, so we always get all the data from this one so how do i convert it into the non ansi way it's very simple see just replace left outer join with comma then remove all conditions to where clause here like this right? take this table and give some comma see remove the left outer join now all the condition are in here now the my requirement is here i want to make the outer join for the table a so here outer joint table table for table a so i need to use plus operator here because the opposite table get outer join so now this query will do outer join on table this one now this one outer join is happened now there is a one more thing called as a table c right so here the condition should be c 
now i want to make the left join here so left join means on left join for above one so here uh, c's right i should use here plus so the it will happen the left order join for this two table now now if i come here and if i'll uh, run this both the query what will i get let's try to see the data You need to use and actually here, then run it. Okay. Now I can see the data is matching exactly. It means that I can write a multiple table here. So, for example, if I am writing here right, see, remember in the right we only have a three. So if I come and if I uh, run this query, what will happen? Only single query. See, I got only a uh, one record because on my table is having only one record. So how I convert this into the above one? So here, you know, now this is a right join. Sorry, basically this is a right outer join on a table C. So basically, C is here, right? So I need to use this to oppose it basically i want to make the outer join for c now so c means all the data should get from the table c second table so i need to use uh, opposite to c so opposite to c like this right now run both the query and see the match output this this is quite uh, difficult for the first timer but when you practice more you will get you like right? see we have used three table and we converted left to right, right to left and this is basically this is quite interesting. When you will practice more you will enjoy uh, with the non ANSI style. Why I am, why I, I have created actually you know um, sometime we uh, get the migration project and the and the oracle they have used the non ANSI type of code and we don't get actually what actually they have written. People get confused with the symbol because I, when I was new to the system, I also get confused. It has taken a lot of time to understand the non-ANSI and the ANSI way. So I thought to create video so that you guys can get idea how to convert the non-ANSI to ANSI and ANSI to non-ANSI. Hope you guys like our video related with the difference between the ANSI and non-ANSI. And um, thanks for watching. Have a great day. If you guys li really like our video, please don't forget to share and subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.